Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. So today we're going to check out the Dyad Pro Combo from RoboRock. And RoboRock sent us this for the review. Right, so this is a combination wet-dry vacuum. Right now it's set up for mopping, and it's really neat. Let's take a closer look. It comes in a really big box, and it's nice. It has a handle. Because this thing does weigh a little bit. All right. Now, the cool thing is they give you a little paper here, and it includes a picture of all three sections in this box of what's in that box, which is cool, and then how to put it all together and where you can scan to do the app on your phone. Maintenance brush. Okay. Then there's a filter. That is number four, which is the two-in-one cleaning head. User manual. Pretty big user manual for a vacuum. Charging dock tray. Oh, that's pretty nice. Baton holder. Charging dock body. You can see the ports there. Holder for stuff. That is a dust bin. All right, power cable. Okay. Multi surface brush. It's a baton for when you put the vacuuming together. Wow. There's the handle. There's the handle. Buttons on it. This is the multi surface brush. The last thing is the wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Wow, look at that thing. That's cool, huh? Yeah. It's got these dual brushes. Wow, look at that. And the dual brushes are cool because what they let you do is, this one gets you right like a millimeter from the edge of the wall, and then they rotate counterclockwise and really clean the dirt in the water. All right, over here we have the wet dry vac, and then over here we have the accessories for doing normal vacuuming, right? So let's take a look at the first thing, which is the wet dry vac. This thing's fairly heavy, just so you know, because actually a uh, water tray in the back that you have to fill up. And then there's a display on the front. It's actually showing we're charged at 50% and the Wi-Fi is hooked up. It comes with an app, and as you can see here, it brings it right up. And it'll show you that it's at 50%. You can start self-cleaning from here. You can start drying from here. And you can change cleaning modes. It's auto self-cleaning, how long the drying is for. And then the front, there's another bin. You press the button, it'll release it. There's a filter, and this is all the dirty water. So when you get done, it'll actually tell you to take out the water. And then this thing snaps back in. And then this is the button to start it. This changes the mode from automatic to max to regular. And then on the top, there's another button for self-cleaning. So I can press that. Turn to dock for self-cleaning. So you see, I wanted to clean it, but it's not in the dock and it won't do it until it's in the dock. Yeah, the other thing is, since it is a wet mop, is there is a soap dispenser, right? So you can just fill up the soap dispenser and it's pretty easy. You just take this little window here. You buy the RoboRock cleaner. You can put it in here, snap it down, it'll automatically mix it with fresh water. All right, so look at Valerie made a mess because she wants to see if this thing really works. So let's take a look. That's a little bit of granola and a little bit of water down there. And turn it on. All right, here we go. So now, we're going to clean it. You can see it's getting the floor wet because it's wet mopping. Look at that, it picked up the granola and the water we spilled. But not too bad. There we go. I think we got it all. We get it all. I think we got it all. All right. So we're going to put it away. Charging started. All right. Tells us it's charging. And then I'm going to press this button on top so we can tell it to self clean. So you notice what's happening is it's running the rollers and it's actually cleaning them off. So now, if I want to switch this over to a vacuum, it's pretty easy. I just press this button here, pull it forward. This is the motor head. All right, and I switch it over onto the vacuum parts. So let's take a look at those for a second. So this is a typical cleaner, right? And you see what's really kind of cool about this is that, first of all, you've got to put the 
the bin, the dust bin in it, right? So the way the dust bin works is you put it here, put it down like that, and then just push. It snaps into place. When you want to take it off, you just press that button and it releases it. Now, I can attach this, and you see there's like a, a red button thing, right? So you just got to line that up, all right? Really can't do it wrong. And then you just push it in, and snaps into place. If you want to take it off, press the button again. All right, so that's it. Now it's in vacuum mode, and if I turn it on. All right, I just noticed some stuff on the floor. Boom, it's gone. Okay, so the other thing is it comes with two other tools. It comes with a crevice tool, which is really kind of cool. Check it out. So that's the crevice tool. And if I press this button here, slide it forward, it locks in place, I have a brush. And then all I have to do is replace the head. So I hit the button right here, press the button. And we can put the crevice tool on. Just like the other one, it snaps in. Now I have a convenient crevice tool. Start the thing going. Ooh, that is loud. Or if I want, I can use it as a brush. Take a look at the other tool they give you. And this is for cleaning your upholstery, you know, like your couch. You can put this attachment on. Snap it in place. And you notice it's got a cleaning brush in it. And then I can just come down here, for example. And I can say I want to clean. Just turn it on. They give you as a cleaning tool. So if I need to clean anything, I'm all set. Here I'm cleaning the roller brushes. Okay, the other thing is the dustbin. We just remove this with pressing this button here. Now, this is interesting. If you pull up here, this little thing get, kind of goes over there so it knows you don't have the filter in here. It's got a filter on this side and here. And this bin inside here, of course, is where the, all the dirt is. And you basically pull the handle up and yank it out. So when you take it out, the rubber gaskets kind of stick when you first get it. So you just kind of have to work it slowly out. Don't pull too hard so you don't break it. But once you get it out, it goes back in easy. Then you have to line up where the electrical is here. Make sure it's all the way back in. All right, so now it's in. Then you take your filter, put this back in. It'll push that little knob, and you're done. Okay, that's the Dyad Pro combo from Roborock. Thanks for watching.